Welcome back to Transfer Hub, the home of all of your Villa transfer news this January transfer window. Uh, we had the Hakim Ziyech rumour drop uh, late morning, uh, followed by an Abamyang little cheeky, which I am definitely not feeling. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling Abamyang can't run. Can't move, got no movement. I'm not feeling about Yang, so I'm not not sure about that one. Definitely, definitely not for me. We are on the lookout for a striker, an experienced striker, apparently. Um, so we'll have to see how that one goes. Um, we brought in John Duran. Brilliant to see him in the winning side at the Villa uh, in the training ground game. Uh, knocking it about with Martinez, Coutinho, Kamara. Uh, that's a nice little cheeky sort of seven out of side team. Um, so, yeah, it's brilliant to see him at Bodymore Heath. Brilliant to see him, you know, having some shots on target. Just nice to see a brand new signing in and around the Villa, isn't it? So, it's great to see Duran. Looks like he's now in full force. Aston Villa is going to be involved against Leicester. So, yeah, brilliant for him. Happy that he's at Villa. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we can see him against Leicester at some point, uh, maybe if he comes off the bench. So who is Dario Osario? We've seen him linked all window. Um, he's been linked with Villa all window. And I have stayed away from it a little bit because I did feel like it was quite obscure. But, you know, when we signed Duran, which doesn't really feel like something Villa do, is it? it's not really something we do. Uh, we don't really go and take a massive point on a 19-year-old from uh, America. You know, he was playing in America. Not something that our transfer mould really ever does, is it? But then we've been linked with Osario all window. Again, doesn't really feel like something that we do, but maybe it's a change of the times with Unai Emery and him striking his partnership with Johan Lang. Um, maybe it's just something a little bit different. We see this heavily from Brighton, don't we? Picking up young talent from South America, um, that part of the world, you know, and they really come to the Premier League and flourish with um, Saucedo. So maybe it's, it's something that Aston Villa are doing and we... We're being, I'm going to say, a little bit braver in the market. Uh, and dare I say, having a bit of a transfer policy uh, on the way in which we do things. Or maybe it's just, that's just the way I see it. Uh, Osario, 19 years of age, currently playing in Chile. And he's getting massive, massive clubs looking at him. Uh, Real Madrid have been looking at him in the past. Uh, Wolves looked at him in um, last season as well. So, you know, he's getting certain clubs looking at him and he's a really exciting player coming out of South America at the minute. He's getting massive recognition. He's one of the standout young players coming out of South America at the minute. Um, so who is he? Are Villa in for him? Let's have a look. So there has been various links for Aston Villa links with Osario. The fee is looking at around £15 million. Um, and we have been linked with him numerous times. The noise coming out this evening is that we are linked with him even more. So let's have a look at his profile. It is obscure. There's not much data to go off. I've, I've tried to research past sofa score, but you can't really find much. So this is the... The best of what we've got, Villa fans. So, 19 years of age, left-footed, midfielder, plays as a winger, but also can play in this little area here as well. So, winger slash Ramsey vibe, Buendia vibe. Uh, he's been linked, well, not linked, he's been compared to uh, Di Maria. So, a player that locks the cutting side uh, and has a perler of a left foot. Um, he's been linked, you know, rumoured to be a, of that sort of ilk. Um, so if you can reach that level, then, my God, you've got a player on your hands because Prime Di Maria was sensational. So, so for score, I've given him 
a 6.87, so just below the Robinson 7. Uh, we've got just one season to go off, I think. Have we got one season? Yeah, we've got one season to go off, 2022. So we have his market value of 2.9. You'll be looking at around 15, uh, 15, 13, something around that marker. Um, he's played 27 games, started 16, 58 minutes per game. He scored seven goals. Uh, goal per game is 0.3. Shots per game, 1.4. Uh, goal conversion of 19%. Uh, we have goals from inside the box, uh, 6 out of uh, 16. Headed goal, 1. Goals with his left foot, 5, which you'd expect being um, left-footed. Touches per game, 30. Big chances created, 4. Key passes, 1.1. Accuracy per game, 71%. In his own half, 78%. Opposition half, 61%. Accuracy of long balls. This is something that he's really good at as well. He's long balls, long raking passes. He's got great vision. So 67% for those. Uh, interceptions per game, 0.4. Tackles per game, 1.6. Uh, if we have a look at his dribbles, 47%. Uh, 49% of his jewels won. A ground jewels, 47. Aerial jewels, 56. Uh, lose possessions lost, 11.8. One, which isn't actually that low compared to some of the Villa players this season. Uh, so those are his stats. He is currently playing a, for uh, Universidad de Chile, uh, which is in the Chilean league. Uh, so he's, he's one to watch. He's one for, you know, he's, I'm not going to say one for the future, because you see these players come over and transition really, really well. But what I'm liking about this room of Villa fans is that it's quite obscure from a Villa side of things. That's what I'm sort of liking. I'm liking that, you know, if I think of all the players we've been linked with in this window, they all have a purpose and they all, they all look quite decent to me. You know, especially the ones that we've done on Transfer Hub. I'm, I'm not wasting my time, Villa fans, on stuff like Abamyang because it's just ridiculous. I don't rate him that highly anymore. Um, I remember watching him for Gabon when he first sort of broke into the scene um, with Dortmund, and he was he was class, man. He was class. I don't understand why Chelsea signed him because he can't run. He's got no movement. His pace is not that great. He can't really finish anymore. So I'm not wasting my time on just clickbait rubbish. I'd rather look into a Ziyech who I look at as a player and, and I see key attributes. I like him. I think he's he's got a wand of a left foot. I could see him coming on loan maybe, possibly. But he's a player that I watch and I'm fond of and I really rate. So I'd rather do my time talking about Ziyech than a Bamiyang. And then this Osario one, I'd rather have my time talking about him because, you know, he's a 19-year-old in, in Chile coming over. Potentially, he's going to rip up the European stage. I've heard that, you know, um, some former players have been saying that he needs to make a move to Europe. And I, it just excites me that we, we're linked with these players. And, and I think, you know, it's nice to see us, like I say, have a transfer strategy of of certain players and that can come in and, and let's just do something a little bit different. Uh, everybody looks at Brighton and, and praises Brighton for the players that they get in. Why can't Villa start tapping into this market and bringing in those type of players? So I'm all for this link. It hasn't gone away. Um, it hasn't gone away. And it's a name that I've had put to me uh, as well. So... There's got to be something in this, Villa fans. It excites me. Have a look at him. Um, he's pacey, direct, tricky. He's a live wire. Uh, he's got a nice little left foot on him. Uh, so I do like the look of him, to be fair. I think I think he does look good, albeit he's playing in a Chilean league. But why not, Villa fans? We've got to start going away from that, that just that general mould of whoever we linked with. It looks like Weston McKenney is going to Leeds. I said it on numerous videos, numerous streams. I weren't really feeling him. 
I weren't really feeling Weston McKinney. Um, and I weren't feeling Dan Juma. Uh, some of you will remember me saying um, on a video or on a stream that I weren't sure on Dan Juma and that I'd rather go and get Delefeu. Uh, just because Dan Juma, just, we can't have players coming in now that are just those inconsistent turn up when they want those type of vibes. And that's what I get with Dan Juma. Now, I don't feel like we were ever really, ever really in for Dan Juma because if we were, Emery would have got him straight away, wouldn't he? Emery would have gone, Dan Juma, you're coming, mate. Um, and it never felt like we were, whereas Delefeu, I just see him fitting in an Emery system a little bit better. So uh, it's one to keep an eye on. Delefeu still. Gwendouzi, Gwendouzi, Gwendouzi. Just really want him. Just really want him, Villa fans. Uh, Luis Enrique. That apparently it's not not happening. Um, so yeah, Osario, Villa fans. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I think it's a little bit like the Duran one. Uh, young, vibrant, has has got a, a high ceiling, and it's about whether he can reach that high ceiling. But it's brilliant to see Duran at Bodymore. And I just thought I'd just come on and uh, just have a little chat about Osario and, and where we're at transfer-wise. And and uh, it's nice just to talk about someone that is just not a name. Do you know what I mean? So a lot of you might not have heard of him, but um, yeah, I've seen his name linked all window, to be fair. So I just thought we'd come on and, and drop our thoughts on him. So Cheers for the support, everybody. If you've got this far, make sure you subscribe, drop the video a like. Up the villa.